Hi, this is Professor Wolber from AppEnver.org. I'm going to show you the second part in this video sequence to build the I Have a Dream app. Okay. In the first part, we set up the user interface so it's got a picture MLK and a play button. Okay. And it's got this player component that knows how to play sound clips. Okay. But we still need to kind of specify the behavior for the app. Okay. In other words, we need to say when the user clicks the button. Okay. So when the user clicks that play button. We need to actually play the speech, okay? So I'm going to bring this call player one dot start. So this guy is called an event handler. In this case, the event is the user clicking on what's named button one, okay? And the response is, let's start the sound file associated with player one. And if you remember, if we go back to the designer, this player one component has a source file associated with it, okay? It's king.mp3. Okay, if I go to the blocks, when I say start, king.mp3, the sound file is going to play. Okay, uh, in the first step, I, I, I kind of instructed you to hook up your phone using the MIT App 2 Companion. Okay, um, what I'm doing is showing this on the emulator so we can show it as I run this video. Okay, so now I've got my app. I've just set up this very simple behavior, but if I click on this play button, it plays my speech. Okay. So you've you know you've basically just built your first app, okay? And I'm gonna close this emulator up. You've just built your first app, okay? But it's really not you know on your phone. Even if you just test it on your phone, that app companion is just for testing. If you if you're not connected by Wi-Fi, okay, it's not gonna be there. Okay, so how do you actually get an app on your phone where you could find it in your app section and click the button and, and play the app? Okay, that's where package for phone comes into play. Okay, and what you want to do is download to this computer. Package for phone download, and what's going to happen is it's going to put a .apk file on your computer to, to, to start. Okay, and it takes a, a few seconds, but essentially what it's going to do is create the real app for you. Okay, once you get that app on computer, you can email it to yourself or email it to your friend. Um, but anyway, go to your go to your device, go to your email program, open that file, get the attachment, and click it, and you'll open it. So anyway, just download just to my computer the .apk file. So I'm going to say OK. Now it's on my computer, and then I can use email to get it to get get it to my phone. I'll show you later kind of how to distribute your app, put it on you know with a, a QR code that people could scan it, and of course you could also put it on the market that sort of thing. Okay, on in Google Play, right? Anyway, so that's step two. The next thing I'm going to show you in, in the next uh, you know part of this uh, tutorial is how to extend this app. Let's make it so I can pause and play uh, the speech by MLK instead of it just playing straight through.